Hey, Ceramics A. Happy Thursday. Uh, today is our fourth day working on the coiled vessel project. And so I'm going to show you the next steps here in a moment. Um, this is the last recorded message for this week. Tomorrow, Friday, we will have a live demonstration on a Google Meet. And in the attendance question yesterday, I told you the wrong time for our Google Meet. So I'm really sorry about that. I didn't remember that on Fridays, on um, Flex Fridays, the, the, the Google Meet times were different. And so for your hour, third hour, our Google Meet will be at 11 a.m. And I would imagine it would last for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes, and then uh, you'll be done uh, for the day. So um, tomorrow we'll have our Google Meet Friday, Google Meet at 11 a.m., and the code will be the same as always, WHS Ceramics. So sorry about that. Sorry I told you the wrong time. Um, in case you're interested, uh, your first hour class starts at 9. Your second hour class starts at 10. But my class, third hour, starts at 11. So be there or be square. All right, so let's get into what we've been doing here. Uh, you've been working on your coiled vessel. Um, over the last several days, you have been um, coiling melding, scoring and slipping, using your template as your guide. I forgot my template at home last night, so I don't have my template, but I tried to make it hug the curves as best I could. So that's this is the shape that I've got. And I'll be honest with you, this is a very big mug. I had intended to make a mug, and this mug is gargantuan. So I would say that this is turning into more of a vase. Uh, so it is what it is. So this is now my vase instead of a mug. Um, so I have some of the requirements met already. I've melded everything. Obviously, uh, I'm going to work on scraping and shaping in a moment. I have convex curves that bulge out. I have concave curves that cave in. Uh, all you need is at least a little bit of out and in or in and out in order to meet that requirement. Um, I've got this is, uh, I believe, um, six and a half inches. So I've got my height requirement met. And so now I just have some finishing touches to do. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna show you how to add handles. So handles are the very last step, or a handle if you're doing a mug. Um, so handles are gonna to come tomorrow. Today is gonna to be about refining the form because once the handles are on there, you're not gonna be able to do as much scraping and shaping and refining. So the first step for today is simply to finish anything that you are behind on. So in the previous days, first day you were supposed to coil up to four inches, and then yesterday, Wednesday, you were supposed to coil the rest of it, however much the rest of it is. Remember, it needs to be at least six inches tall. So um, so that's as far as you should have gotten. If you haven't gotten that far, just do it today, all right? Get yourself caught up. Um, your next step, though, if you are finished with your coiling, you're going to have a little bit of refining to do. So one of the things you're going to work on is taking your plastic card, putting a little bend into it by pushing your thumb into it, and doing a lot of scraping and shaping. So you're going to use this tool to level out the lumps and the bumps. And this is going to strengthen your clay. It's going to smooth your clay. It's going to take away the lumps and bumps in the clay. It's going to fill in the low spots. It's going to take down the high spots. Now I've actually done this a lot already, so my clay is already really smooth. Um, my guess is that you probably have not done much of this yet. And so today's your day to really do a lot of that, scraping and shaping. And by doing this, you're not adding a lot of moisture to the clay, therefore you're not weakening the clay. The clay should be nice and leather hard, and um, so we wanna uh, not introduce any more moisture than we have to. Another thing you wanna do after scraping and shaping is you can also take your plastic card. Look at this, we've got other angles here, woo! except that's too low of an angle. There we go. Woo. All right. So I'm going to take my plastic card and I'm going to look at the lip of my pot and the lip of my pot, as I turn it, you can see that it's higher on one side than the other, right? So it's higher is it here, here. I don't know. It's higher in a couple of spots. So I'm going to take my plastic card and I'm going to shave those spots that are a little too high. And your phone actually has a level tool on it. And so you can actually take your phone and set it on top of your lip to see if your, your pot is uneven or not, if it's, it's level or not. 
Um, so if you don't, if you don't trust your eye to tell you whether your pot is level, see how that's a little bit better. It's a little high right here yet. So I'm going to take that spot down. I'm just looking at the lip of my pot in the camera or in the, on my computer screen to gauge whether it's level. Okay. It's a little bit better. And then I'm just going to take my sponge. And if I put my sponge in kind of a, a U shape and wrap it around uh, the lip of my pot so it's touching the inside, the top, and the outside at the same time, that's a good way to smooth that lip and kind of make the consistency more uniform. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Um, so you want to trim your lip. That's one of the things you want to do um, in, in this refining stage. I'm also, I am going to take my sponge and do a, little, a lot of smoothing on the body of my pot. Um, after you've done the scraping and shaping, there's going to be maybe a little bit of residual lines or some residual spurs. So just take a slightly damp sponge and do as much smoothing as you can. Boy, that really looks uneven. Hmm. To look at the bottom of my pot. Do as much smoothing as you can to really refine that form. What we want to see is not the remnants of your coils. What we want to see are those beautiful curves that you've created. And honestly, let me tell you, if your pot that you make, your vessel, does not follow your template, if you ended up having to do something totally different than your original idea, it's okay. All right, don't feel bad. Don't feel like you failed. Um, that's a pretty normal occurrence. I wanted you to start with the template, and if you were able to follow the template, great. Um, but if not, don't feel like you're a failure. That's um, just kind of a natural thing. Sometimes our ideas lead us in different directions, and sometimes the clay leads us in a different direction. So don't sweat it if your original idea is not the same as your final product. Okay, now don't forget about the bottom. I'm going to flip this over, and the bottom is rough, all right? So I definitely need to do some scraping there. So I'm going to lay this down on a towel because I didn't want to set it on its lip because I just smoothed my lip. So I'm going to set this down on a towel so I'm not going to dent my project, and I'm going to do some work down here. I'm going to use my plastic card to do some scraping down near the bottom of my pot. So this was the part that was kind of hard for me to see as I was doing my scraping earlier, and sometimes kids totally forget to clean up this bottom half of their pot. But this is a really important part, so you can't forget about it. So now I'm just taking my sponge, trying to smooth it up. I'm gonna go back to aerial mode. Incidentally, yesterday's video, I hope, <laughs> I hope you were able to actually watch that video. Um, I included a song um, by uh, Edward Sharp and the Magnetic Zeros called Home. And YouTube got mad at me because I used that song. And I, I shouldn't have used it. It's copyright infringement to incorporate somebody else's work in my video. Um, so it said my video was blocked. So I hope that you were able to see it. I don't know. I had confirmation from one person that said that they could see it, so that makes me feel like um, maybe there wasn't an issue. Um, it said my video was blocked in Cuba, of all places. So sorry to all my students who are early spring breaking in Cuba. You weren't able to see my video. All right. So I just smoothed up the bottom half of my project. All right. That's looking pretty good. Uh, oh, you know what? As long as I'm looking at it, I am going to write or carve my initials and my hour number in the bottom, right? Because that's going to be a requirement for this project, again, like it is for every project. So carve your initials in and then wipe any little spurs away so those aren't going to end up being sharp. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, one other thing that I'm going to ask you to do. Sometimes our pots look really heavy down here at the bottom. Mine comes in a little bit at the bottom, um, but I'm going to show you how you can make your pot really look nice and light. So when you're done with all your scraping and shaping, if you take your plastic card and cut it, oh, that wasn't very good. 
cut it so you get a nice sharp angle on it. You can use this, oh my goodness, back to low mode. There we go. Um, you can use this to do what's called an undercut. So I'm gonna use, uh, hit, take this sharp part of my card and I'm going to use it to carve in down at the bottom of my project. I'm just turning the project and letting that sharp edge of my card cut an undercut in my clay. Okay, see how it took off that clay at the bottom? Let's take a look at that. So now my, my clay or my pot comes in even more at the bottom, which makes it physically lighter. I'm gonna cut it even sharper so I can get an even deeper cut. Um, so it makes my pot physically lighter, but it also makes it visually lighter because if your pot comes in at the bottom, it's gonna appear more like it's hovering up off the table. And that's a good thing. We want our pots to be light. And if they can't be light, we want them to look light. Okay, so now that's carved in even more down at the bottom, which of course also now means that I need to smooth out again. Guess I should have done that first. Oops. Although I needed this for scraping and shaping down here, so I guess it's good that I did it in the steps that I showed. I can talk really good. Okay. All right. I'm also just like kind of creating a nice fine layer of slip with my fingers, and that's a great way to, to smooth things as well. All right. Um, you just saw me tapping this on the table a little bit ago. I was doing that to see if I couldn't make it. Yeah. See? See how, now, how it's more level now? Oh, that was good. All right. Just a little tap, 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 and now it's level. Great. Okay, so uh, I've done my smoothing, I fixed my lip, I've done an undercut, I've got my initials and my hour number on the bottom. Um, spend as much time as you want doing this refining and smoothing. Um, but now that everything is smoothed and scraped and shaped and refined, I need to get it back to that leather hard stage. So that's what we're going to do for tomorrow. Um, you're going to photograph your pot today. In, after you have fixed the lip, done your undercut, and done your refining, and done your smoothing. So this, this is looking really great. Um, then uh, after you've taken that photograph, bag it back up. Um, you can let that bag be maybe a little bit open down at the bottom so a little bit of air can get to the clay, uh, but you're gonna keep it mostly bagged for tomorrow. So tomorrow we can add handles to either both sides or three sides or one side of your pot. I'm gonna talk about different ways you can add handles to give your pot a little bit of personality. And that's your final step uh, for the coiled vessel. So have fun with it, catch up if you're behind, and I will see you at our Google Meet on Friday at 11 a.m. All right, I'll take attendance there. Have a great day. Oh, and today, don't forget to answer your attendance question for today, which will be the one where you answer the question in Schoology. Okay, great.